Hello, my name is Chandra and today I'm going to show you how to make use of EduPage. So now you have time you have already generated your timetable and you need to upload your timetable into our server. So in order for you to upload your timetable into your server you need to open up your timetable file like this and you need to click here when you click here this is what happens for a first time user you need to key in a user id which is your school user id do not put in your personal id enter your school id okay so once you have done this you, rather, you need to key in your user ID, you need to key in a password and you need to key in an email address for contact purposes. So once you've done that, it's already set up. My account has already been set up. So once when I click here, I need to key in my username. The reason why you need to put your school username is because you will have your username as the URL. So click here, enter your password, login. So now you need to click save to timetables online. Okay, so click here, save to timetables online. enter a name so we will name this as test one and click save do you want to save this timetable under a new file name yes so this is the uploading of your timetable into the server and once it's done click show me timetables online <coughs> once you click show me timetables online this is your timetable which is uploaded so now you need to publish it how do you publish it you click here Make sure it is already selected and then click publish okay so this is your timetable file which you saved just now click next enter your school year so i'm going to put in as 1st of december up to 31st of december so if you're doing this for next year so you choose the date as 2018 okay so click next these are all the names you have in your file okay these are all the old names i had so make sure everything here is chosen as add okay you must add here your classes must all be add also. Mm -hmm. So click add. Okay, for the first time, it will already be there as add. Okay and transition add okay make sure everything is add students see if you have any student's name and subject everything must be add okay classroom here they don't have a classroom so click next 
and here is send notification about timetable change to teachers just leave it as ticked because you have no uh, timetable yet so click confirm it will upload and activate that particular file as the current timetable which can be viewed via your phone so what is important here is you must make sure that all your type all your teachers have their email updated in the system where you update it is here under teachers each teacher edit make sure their email address all here if they did not key in the email address not a problem you just got to make sure this one works you just wait for a while okay <clears throat> so this is your school timetable it's already been uh, imported into the into the edu page you can check the classes from here or the teachers okay click okay so now you need to ensure that all the teachers have their email address keyed in so if it does not you can check it here click wizard Oh, my internet is a bit slow. All right, wizard, click on basic school data. Click on customize. Okay, go to teachers. These are all the list of teachers. So what you can do is you can just enter a email address here. For all the teachers. Okay. Once you're done, click save and continue. So class teacher, you can set it here if you want. It should already be set earlier, but it's just in case. Keeps it easy. A class teachers No, it's not class teacher. This is not the class teacher. Okay, click. Oh, there's nothing here. Click save and continue. You can go to the subjects. You will go to the students, parents, bell times, and then finish. So once you click save and continue, you can go to finish straight away. Now let's check and see the class teachers. Uh, I'll just key in one and click save and continue. All right.
probably the list here is a bit corrupted. It doesn't matter. Click on finish. And then you can click send passwords to my teachers. So who the password? This is one. This is my existing file which is supposed to be deleted but cannot be deleted. So click next. Please wait. Okay, and then click confirm. Are you sure? Yes. And your timetable passwords would be sent to all the teachers. All right, so now we can explore the timetable in EduPitch. What do we have here? We have so many things. This one will be sent. We'll create another uh, tutorial for this on the next video. So, first, upload your timetable into the internet first. Thank you very much. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.